Welcome back to Tampa Bay Right Now. We've been talking about hurricanes and how to be prepared for them. And with us now is Tom Iovino, who specializes in emergency preparedness for Pinellas County Communications. Welcome, Tom. Thank you, Allison. How are you Dan, doing? Dan, welcome back. Oh, thank you. Dan's here, of course. Yeah. Now, tell us, first, let's just get started. What do you do exactly? In Pinellas County, I help people get educated about and prepared for hurricane season and other disasters. It could be anything that happens. Um, so what we do is we have an extensive public outreach campaign. Um, we also work through social media, through new evolving medias, work with traditional media to help get the word about storm preparedness. And every county has to have an emergency That's what management I was going to ask. Does office. every county have something? So wherever you are in the viewing area, if you're in Pinellas, of course, you'll check out our site. But Hillsborough, Sarasota, Manatee, Hernando, Pasco, everybody's got their own site uh, and their own office. So please check with that office before the hurt. We get much further into the season. Sure. And each county does outreaches like that? Yes. Yeah, we, awesome. uh, we do always putting information out to the public. Um, there's really no reason to be caught by surprise by a hurricane. This is not the good old, the bad old days where people didn't have satellites and weather radar in the right. hurricane center and the weather service office. Right. There's, so there's plenty, plenty of information. So tell us, how can counties prepare for these types of storms? In the county, what we want to do is we want to make sure everybody's on the same sheet of music. Everybody's giving the same information out to the public. Obviously, if we're seeing a threat, people know when to evacuate, who needs to evacuate. Right. Um, but also, we work with our partners in the cities, uh, other organizations such as the uh, Transit Authority and the Health Department, um, work with the uh, state. We work with the federal government to make sure that we're all on the same sheet of music. Uh, in the event of a hurricane that hits the Tampa Bay area, it's not time to figure out what the plans are. It's the plan that have them in place right then. And that goes for all levels of government, but primarily and most importantly for everybody individually. You have to have a plan for hurricane season. Right. And I know here in the Tampa Bay, we have been very lucky and have avoided these types of major storms for quite some time. It's been 91 years wow. since the last time a hurricane made landfall in Pinellas County, in the right. Tampa Bay area generally. I mean, right. so people so, start to maybe get complacent about that and think, oh, it's not going to happen. Even though the cone is, is coming our way, it's going to miss us. Right. What would you say to people like that? It's only a matter of time. Right. Um, you know, you can only be lucky for so long. And, and when that does go, we're going to go from the place where hurricanes never visit to a hurricane prone area again, which is what we are the whole mm -hmm. time. Until so Pinellas County and Tampa Bay area is relocated to Montana, we are on the Gulf of Mexico. Right. We have to worry about these storms. And flooding is a major issue here already, even just when it rains. And now imagine now a storm surge uh, right. that pushes up uh, water 6, 8, 10, 12 feet high. Mm -hmm. And this isn't like jumping into a pool that's 8 feet deep right. where it's clear and refreshing. This is going to be muddy, turbulent, churning water with debris, with sewage, with chemicals. You don't mm -hmm. want to be anywhere near that. So we tell people, run from the water, mm -hmm. hide from the wind. Very nice. And it's important that to remember important. that because there's no shuttering system you can put on your house right. that prevents storm surge from leveling it. Well, speaking of homes, how can we prepare our homes for this kind of weather? Let's start off with the basics. The first thing you really need to do is know your evacuation level. Mm -hmm. uh, every county that's on coast, that's in a coastal area, has evacuation levels set A through E. So if you're in a level A evacuation, I tell people that means adios. When a hurricane's coming, a tropical storm's coming, and we order an evacuation, you're the first to go. Your plan should always deal with evacuation. There are areas in higher evacuation levels where you could either evacuate or stay put, depending on the intensity of the storm. And then there are areas, even in Pinellas County, mm -hmm. on the peninsula, that will not see storm surge. Um, so those people can stay put during the storm as long as they're in a well-built home okay. with protection on the windows. No matter where you live, if you live in a mobile home, you've got to evacuate. Right. Those buildings are not built to withstand high winds. Right. And so what can we do for our families as well and, like, the children in our house? How can we prepare different people you for know, that? You know, your plan has to include everybody. It has to include all the supplies you need, the medications, food, water, first mm -hmm. aid kits, important papers, such as insurance policies, right. might be important afterward. But, you know, make sure that it, the kit is specific for everybody in your house. If you have a, a ch young children, mm -hmm. make sure they have all their supplies and their comfort items. Uh, elderly relatives, you want to make sure their medication and their other supplies. Pets yeah, are I was gonna an ask enormous you. Yeah. concern for us because people will not leave their pet behind. Right. And if you love your pet enough to risk your life and your pet's life right now, you love your pet enough to have a hurricane plan in place. Right. And you don't have to go far to evacuate. Um, you could be in the beach in some areas in Pinellas County. Mm -hmm. You could be swimming in the Gulf of Mexico and in less than a mile be in a non-evacuation zone. Okay. There's no reason for you to drive all the way to Orlando because right. you might run into the storm like right. it happened in 2004. Oh, that's right. People who evacuated the Tampa area to went to Orlando and, and got hit where, by Charlie. That's absolutely right. 
So is there shelters and things that people can look into maybe even for pets or for themselves? There are shelters in Pinellas County and we plea and we invite you if you have no other plans, if you have no other available options to you to please use the shelters. But I'm going to tell you right now, the shelters are lifeboats. They're right. not going to be comfortable. They're not going to have creature comforts in them. You might get fed one or two meals a day. Mm -hmm. There's no bed. There's no privacy. And in some of our shelters, you might be there with 7,000 other people. Right. Um, so really, we tell people if you work with a, in an organization, if you go to Kiwanis Rotary Club, your church, find out who lives in an evacuation zone, who doesn't. And then stay with the people who don't have to evacuate. And that way, you're out of the shelter, you're sleeping on somebody's couch. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more comfortable. You can bring your pet. The children, you don't have to worry about keeping an eye on as much. Right. So it's really a better, it's a better arrangement than relying solely on a shelter. And what are some necessities that you both would say we would need in a survival kit? Um, just one weekend, turn off your power for the entire weekend. Okay. And you'll get hot and humid and <laughs> sweaty and it's going to be miserable. And you're going to go, test. oh, I wish I had this. Oh, I wish I had that. That right. will tell you everything you need. Um, but basically, you're going to need water, mm -hmm. uh, at least one gallon per person per day, and you're going to. If you have a pool, that's great because you're going to. You can, you know, bathe and clean yourself. Right. Um, it's just you know, when the power goes out, it's just not a pleasant I time. I hear that. Well, thank you so much for being here. Coming up next, we will continue our conversation on how to prepare for this hurricane season. Don't go away.